Wow. Yeah. I'm going to have to ask her if this is true or if we should like get blood tests together. <laughs> <laughs> what a better way to celebrate Friday than with a lovely guest on the show. <laughs> I'm loving so much because <laughs> on FaceTime... <laughs> On FaceTime, I've got someone wearing a hoodie that says smile, looks sad in her face, <laughs> and has a red nose on with the hood up. It's Katie Perry! Yay! <laughs> Is that like a diamante red nose you've got on? Yeah, babes. I'm not just going to like wear a regular clown red nose that's like from Amazon. <laughs> Since the last time we spoke to you, which was probably, what, about three days ago? Um, um Always on the line, sending me Zoom link after Zoom link. <laughs> um, how have you been? What's new? How are you feeling? I'm still pregnant. Yeah. It's still a pandemic. Mm -hmm. It's political uh, and racial revolution in, in America. Yeah. And um, I'm still putting out a record, I think. Yeah, I, I think so. I think I think you definitely are. And you know what? I, I feel like almost you, your baby is just waiting for 2020 just to chill out. I mean, it's, it's only six months into 2020. <laughs> like, what the hell else? Oh, no. I'm ready for this record to come out, <laughs> for the to come out, for 2020 to be f over. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, while we're on the subject of babies, did you see Usain Bolt named his um, daughter Olympia Lightning Bolt? What do you think of that name? Olympia Lightning, Lightning Bolt. Bolt. Lightning Bolt. I think that's setting her up for success, to be completely honest. Or failure. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> considering her father is is who he is, mm -hmm. give them a name that they can be like an incredible artist or a very successful banker. You know, something that works for both. That's yeah. not just like someone that might be smoking weed all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Katie, have you thought about any names yet? I'm sure you're not going to give us them, but... We've got a few names. Really, we want her to tell us, I guess, you know, obviously energetically or just like as when you see a person, you're like, oh, you really look like your name or you yeah. don't. Like, well, man, you look like your name. Look at you, May. You look like a Roman. Oh, thank you very much. It does look like a Roman, oh. doesn't he? Uh, this is another weird thing that's come about because obviously in this pandemic, we keep reading the strangest different stories. Yeah. Now, I've gone deep into some Katy Perry fandom here, right? And I've read somewhere that your baby might have a very famous aunt. Apparently, you and Taylor Swift are ninth cousins. Is this right? Well, we fight like cousins. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a fandom theory that we saw online. And it's, it's insane. Really, well, that's fanfic. No, I, no, it's not. No, like, like, the, but I don't know if it's fiction. But like, someone has literally written like a full thing in, in like, it's like this is real. Look, they're linked like this, and they've done it on that My Heritage site. Like, they're ninth cousins. Wow, yeah. I'm gonna have to ask her if this is true, or if we should like get blood tests together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think during a pandemic, a blood test. Fit in a tube. That was the new segment that we were going to do on the show. So next time you come in, <laughs> yeah. we're going to get you and Taylor spit in a tube, and then that's the show. Honestly, you want likes, you want hits, you yep. want views. Yep. That's the show. That's the one. Right. Let, let's talk about uh, the new music. Let's move from spitting in a tube to new music. The new song. <laughs> Smile, mate. I, I I love it. I remember the first time I was fortunate enough for you to play this for me, um, and and this was the one that really really stood out for me. Is this one of your favourite songs on the album? Yes, I think it's one of my favourites. There's twelve songs on the album, and about four that people have heard now. Never really over. Smile, Daisies, and Harley Harley's in Hawaii, and so there's eight left, um, which are brand spanking new, which is great. You yeah. know. I'm excited to give give the kids some new material, but I, I, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a, what it is is it says in the lyrics, kind of everything the album embodies, which is like hopeful, not hopefulness, resilience, joy, love, and that whole journey, and so that's kind of why it's the. It's the opus of the record. That's why it, the record is called Smile because it's as simple as the fact that I had lost my smile and couldn't get it back, you know, and I got it back, obviously. Mm. Um, you can tell so much 
about a person when they smile or they don't smile or they force a smile or they're not smiling with their teeth or it's fake. It's like you can just, I don't know if you can read a person, but my radar, it's just like you can see it all in a smile and you can see that sometimes people are really hurting because they can barely crack a smile or they're not smiling with their teeth or what have you. And I don't know, it's just a simple emotional, physical um, signal that, speaks volumes and so it really it really is the definition of the journey that i had to go go through and i I thought you know what i actually also think that this record kind of feels like we're almost going uh back a few years in terms of like that that original Katy perry vibe you know it is it is that that production it's it's a proper Katy perry song is that what you kind of wanted to bring to this one well the record i've been telling people is uh really kind of sonically shaped um i think a lot like a combo of prism and teenage dream it's and with like a little bit more like kind of funk yeah. to it you know a little bit more of like my gospel roots in some places and 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 kind of tinges of the 70s yeah um but not a whole lot i mean it's pure pop at its at its best yeah but yeah I think yeah it's you know it's it's fun it's like this is an this is an energizing three minute song like yeah you want to move or i hope you move yeah you know yeah. it's it, lots of like um, my, you know, I, I was making a music video for it and, and it, and we're working, you know, with a skeleton crew of, of, of people. And a lot of those people are older gentlemen, um, meaning like they're just not necessarily the biggest Katy Perry fans. They're, yeah, they're yeah, the yeah. crew, yeah you know, they set up shop and they, and they tear it down, but like they were all moving. You know, they were so like just it. doing it very, very yeah. naturally. And so I was encouraged yeah. by that. Yeah, if the lighting guys are moving their heads, then it's a good one. Yeah. Um, well, listen, uh, it is called Smile. And uh, to celebrate, we asked our listeners uh, to help make Katy Perry smile. So fans literally from all over the UK, <laughs> they have sent in their funniest jokes and stories to try and put a smile on your face today. So we're going to see if it works. Okay, bear with us on this one because they're not all comedians. Yeah. Uh, Sonny J, do you want to hit us with the first one? Yeah, so this is from listener Jake. He said, hey, Katie, my nan shared this with me and you're welcome to use it. Every single time I see my nan for a roast dinner, we would flick a single pea off the plate and f- it flies across the room and she would say, escape pea! <laughs> Every single time, do you think you're going to use that? Oh. <laughs> it's very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> is that a smile it's, I can say no well yeah because it's not it's so genuine like imagine if you had that bond with your nan like oh my gosh yeah. it's like you know when your nan passes which mine passed this year right before all this went down if I had that like I literally would be like all right nan like here's one little golden pea left you yeah. know here you yeah. know there'd be some, Symbolism. It feels yeah. like a. It feels like a Disney movie. It's beautiful. Of course, I'm smiling. Very oh, good. that worked. Right. Okay, let's try another one. This one is from listener Beth in Sheffield. She says, "Hey, Katie, Orlando might like this one. A slice of apple pie is two dollars fifty in Jamaica and three dollars fifty in the Bahamas. These are the pie rates of the Caribbean." Oh my god, that is awful. The pie rates. That, that, pie uh, rates. Why, why would you pie... want an economical joke? I quite well, like that one, to be honest. <laughs> Katie hasn't smiled yet. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I hate it.